Welcome. So what I talked to you in the last video is kind of describing on how we're going to be using difference of two squares. And the important thing I want you guys to understand is when we have the difference of two squares, we still have a b, and we can still use the previous methods that we've discussed on how to factor uh, trinomials. Remember, this is the same thing as y equals ax squared plus 0b plus c. So then when I'm going to try to find this, I'm going to say what two numbers multiply to give me negative 49 but then add to give me 0. All right, And you could do this factoring technique, but you don't have to for each one of these cases because what we're going to do is we're going to learn can we determine if it's a difference, uh, a, a, a difference of two squares. So what we're going to look at to determine if it's a difference of two squares, first of all, we always want to make sure it's in this form. If I have something that's in ax squared minus c form, then I'm looking into a possibility of having a difference of two squares. Now the important thing we need to understand is a, in this case, is 1. All right, so I know I write an a there, but in this case, it's 1. Then I have an x squared, and I need to determine, am I subtracting another square number? So I look at the list of my integer squared numbers I have up to 15, and you can see that 49 is a square number. So 49 can be rewritten as 7 squared. And if you look at it, those are going to be your two p's and q's that you would multiply. However, 7 times 7 doesn't give you negative 49. One of those has to be negative. So negative 7 times 7 gives you negative 49. You add them up, and you get 0. So a quick little factoring technique is now you know, oh, my p and my q, as this is my c and my b, my p and q are negative 7 and positive 7. So if I was going to solve this, I would set my um, output value equal to 0. And I'd say x minus 7 times x plus 7. All right? And what you can just do is just determine, oh, well, that's my perfect square. What is that? That's 7 squared. So therefore, it has to be the positive and the negative. I have to make sure it's positive and negative, because if they weren't positive and negative, you wouldn't get a negative 49. Then I apply 0 product property to each variable, or each factor. And then I solve for x by using my inverse operations. So x equals 7, and x equals negative 7. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve by using the difference of two squares. Thanks.